Philadelphia. Do you agree? Yeah. Are you with me? The way Evan's going to move the city forward. We all the moves. Tomorrow, look at channel six. Tomorrow, Mary Tasco said, I've been two miles. Mary, Mary Tasco said, I've been two miles. She said, I've been two miles. Man, that's I want you especially to look at channel six tomorrow because tomorrow, Taz, tomorrow you will see. But you know, first and foremost, I want to thank, I want to thank seriously all of the elected officials who are here, all the elected officials. All the aspiring elected officials who are here. I want to thank everybody. Seriously, I want to thank them all. And I especially want to thank you. I got to give my Simons group a hand. Give Simons a hand. Got to give Simons a hand. I want to thank Simons. And I want to thank those young people who came in with me. Where's the young people at? The young people. They all up here. Well, I thank them. And then my labor friends from 1776. 332. And 234, transportation, all of the labor people, give them in, give all the labor people a hand. I want to thank them all. I want to thank everybody who's here. You know, we have about 23 days to go. We have 23 days to go. And if you, this, this is this is message I've been carrying all throughout the city of Philadelphia. You know, I've been talking about, I've been talking about someone who will never have the opportunity to run for mayor. I've been talking a lot about him. And I talked about him in the debate. And most of you probably will wonder why I talk a lot about him. His name was Fahim Thomas Childs. And Fahim was 10 years old. And Fahim was in the right place, not the wrong place. He was on his way going to school. And when Fahim was on his way going to school, he went into a school, he, was, he didn't even make it to the school, he got shot and killed. And you know, Fahim will never, never, and I've never met him, I've only seen his picture, I've never met him. Fahim has had such an effect on me as I've traveled this race, that that doesn't deserve to happen to any child in the city of Philadelphia that what happened with that child is something that all of us should be fighting against. All of us should be trying to find a way to make this the safest big city in America. And all of us got some obligation on that. All of us. No matter who we are, no matter what neighborhood we come from, no matter what community we come from, we all have some obligation. And as a good friend of mine said in Spokes in the Wheel, there's many spokes in the wheel. But I would like for Kamari, is Kamari here? Can Kamari come up here? Where's Kamari? Is Kamari here? I, I saw Kamari when I was walking up. I want Kamari to come here. Where is he? Kamari, 
You may recognize Kamari. Kamari made me look good. Kamari is the young man that we... <laughs> that's exactly it. Kamari is the young man who I shot the TV commercial with. Notice I said I shot the TV commercial with him. He's the one carrying the table who gets on the bus and carries the table to City Hall. And Kamari says at the end of that, he says at the end of that, of that commercial, he says, do something. Well, I want to thank Kamari because Kamari never did that before. Kamari never did that ever before. Kamari is the grandson of a woman who works for me, Isabel Fitzgerald. And we asked Kamari to do that for us. And Kamari, I think, symbolizes, Kamari symbolizes, because he's just the same age as Fahim Thomas Childs. And at least Kamari gets the opportunity one day to run for governor, to run for mayor, to run for president, to run for whatever he is. Because we felt, and you know, I, Hey, Josh, Josh from Montgomery County always says that to me. You know, Josh, most people say, well, that commercial was over people's heads. They didn't understand it. Well, you understood when, you understood it when Kamari went to City Hall and stood in front of City Hall and put that table down. And, and as I always say, a safe community is like a table with four legs. It needs a well-trained, visible police force, it needs a criminal justice system that works. It needs a quality school. And Kamari, what's the fourth leg say? Um, and parents? For parents and communities to teach young people from right from wrong. You heard that. From, from parents and community teaching from right and wrong. So over the next 23 days, I'm going to make a promise to you. If you work for me, if you work for me for the next 23 days, I'll work for you for the next eight years. I don't think that's a bad bargain. 23 days, eight years. I'm asking all of you. We're going to need election day workers. We're going to need people to mobilize. We're going to need people to cover the polls. We're going to need people out there and everything. This election, you're going to see we have about two more televised debates, two more radio debates. If you have been watching these debates, if you watched last Saturday and you watch tomorrow, you'll begin to see a, a different Dwight Evans. Somebody that, somebody that Leanna Washington like, or Tony Williams, or, or John Myers. You'll begin to see, uh, you'll begin to see a Dwight Evans. You'll begin to see, you'll begin to see somebody who's very quiet, Graham Finney, somebody who basically stood up and Bob Archie you'll see somebody who really lets loose somebody who's fighting for a cause and fighting for a mission somebody who understands what it is about people working together and making a difference because no one can do anything by themselves everybody needs people to work together and we need a community we need a community that once and for all recognizes the challenges that we have, but the challenges that we have are not so big that we can't defeat them. We can make this a safer city. We can make this a better city. We can move this city forward, but we can do it. We can do it when we work together. We can do it when we bring people together. And we can do it when the city works with Montgomery County and Delaware County and Bucks County. And, and Chester County, we can do it when we bring together. And we can do it when we work with Harrisburg. We need to understand that if we are to move this city forward, it starts with people. It starts with people in every single neighborhood recognizing that we can move ahead. We have a great city. We have a city that we should be proud of. We have a city that can be a lot better than what it is. A city that should be open. A city where people are involved. A city where Kamari, where Kamari one day, if he decides, can be mayor of this city. That's something we shouldn't take lightly. So again, again, I want to thank all of you.